Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our first example of how you use the chain rule with partial derivatives. The function z is a function of two variables x and y and then x is a function of t and so is y. We want to find dz dt and on the previous video we, we learned that dz dt is equal to the partial derivative of z with respect to x times dx dt plus the partial derivative of z with respect to y times dy dt. All right, let's go ahead and implement that and see what we get. This is equal to the partial, of, the partial derivative of z with respect to x is going to be 2x times y multiplied times dx dt. Well, x is t squared, so dx dt is 2t. Then we add to that the parcel of the function with respect to y. The parcel of z with respect to y is going to be x squared times the dy dt. Since y is t cubed, that would be 3t squared. Simplifying that a little bit, we can then say that dz dt, let me rewrite it here, dz dt is equal to 4x y t plus 3x squared t squared. Now since we want to express that in terms of t, let's replace x and y here and x squared here by what that's equal to. Since x is equal to t squared and y is equal to t cubed, this can now be written as follows. dz dt is equal to 4 times, instead of x we write t squared, Instead of y, we write t cubed, and that's times t plus, here we have 3 times x can be written as t squared. We have to square that times t squared, which means that dz dt is equal to 4t to the sixth plus 3t to the sixth, which is equal to 7t to the sixth. Now that's the derivative of the function z with respect to time. Now let's do this in another way to see that this is actually correct. Let's go ahead and plug in for x squared what x squared is equal to and for y what y is equal to. What y is equal to. So here we're going to rewrite the function. z is now going to become a function of t. And this is equal to, instead of x squared, we write t squared quantity squared times, instead of y, y, we're going to write t cubed, which is equal to t to the 4 times t cubed, or t to the 7th. So if z as a function of time is equal to t to the 7th, if we now take the derivative, dz dt, this gives us 7t to the 6th power, and of course that should be equal to what we got over here. Now you may ask yourself, well if it's that easy to do it like that, why should we not do it like that? Why do we do it like this instead? Why waste our time? Well, it turns out in this particular case, yes, it may be easier and simpler to do it like this, but there are a lot of examples where this is not a good way to do it. It's a lot easier to do it like this, so it's good to know both methods just in case you need it, and that's how it's done. 